on YouTube on the Boot Hill Kid and uh, got a project that I'm working on this evening and I am putting uh, new handles on all these hammers sorry for the noise the old man is uh, we just mounted that and the old man's smoothing it out with his little block plane but uh, I'm putting new handles on all these all of these are starting to crack and break where they've been beat up against stuff and so and that one there just the handle is just great on it and then that one the handle is completely broke off so i love ball peen hammers so i've got a, several of them i buy these at yard sales uh, we have a hundred mile yard sale every year and it starts in our town our hometown and goes 100 miles north so me and the old man have been going for a few years and i've been going for a long time he started going with me a couple years ago and every time i find one of these for like one to five bucks i pick it up because uh i mean see made in the usa billings uh these are i don't know how old these are but these are older uh hammers several of them are older hammers and so i just there's something about the old tools that i just like so i've got some hammer handles over here that are pre-made but i think what we're gonna do is use this walnut to make the ball peen the ball peen hammer handles um i think this is going to look better i used all my hammers but i think the walnut will be strong enough to to make a decent handle what do you think old man it's pretty strong i like the the walnut will be strong enough so what i'm going to do now is set the camera up i'm going to show you i've never made a hammer handle from scratch like this this is some walnut that the old man uh milled up so I'm going to pause this video, I'm going to get set up and kind of, we're going to go through the steps of how I'm going to do it. I've watched a few YouTube videos, so I'm an expert now. <laughs> the old man looked at me crazy. Uh, I've watched a few Wrangler Star videos um, showing how he does it, and I'm going to kind of try to go through the same steps and see what we come up with. So we'll be right back. Alright, so I've got one of my boards here that I'm going to use. A little, oh, there's a screw on there. That's real wonky. I've got one of my boards here that I'm going to use. I've got a little uh, combination square. And so what I'm going to do now is mark out. Um, this wood's pretty thick still. So what I'm going to do is mark it out. I'm going to cut it on the table saw. And then we're going to uh, plane it down, thickness plane it. And then I can start working on making the handle itself. None of these handles are really that large. I want to go this way with it. So I can go Let's see. make me a little mark. Sorry if my head's in the way. I'm just roughly I'm gonna do this very rough. I'm gonna leave about a quarter inch at the top and go about a quarter inch below where I need to be. And then I can mark that. <laughs> should be able to get about six handles out of this one board I think uh, this one here I should be able to split that that way I'll be able to split that one too actually let's see yeah I should be able to split that and get, uh, get the same there so let's go I got some cracks right here. I hope y'all can see that. Old man must have been here. Old man must have been here. I'm 
All right, so I didn't want to subject you to the uh, the sanding, um, but here's here's what we got. Uh, it's not perfect by any means, but uh, it feels good in my hands, so that's what we're gonna go with. I need to make a wedge now, so I'll be back as soon as I get done with that. All right, time to seat the head. Hope I'm in frame here, am I? Yeah, pretty much. Uh huh. What do you think about that shit? There you go. Now the question is, am I gonna be able to get my wedge in there? Oh my god, no. Let's cut that slot more. Yep, I'm going to. Gonna have to. I'll have to cut the slot bigger. Bigger slot should equal wedge. Let's see. And my wedge. I just cut this wedge out of uh, another piece of walnut. Hey, where's that uh, paste wax? Where's what? Paste wax. Here it is. <clears throat> so a lot of people use. Uh, Boiled linseed oil, but I'm going to use paste wax because that's what I want to use pretty much. Where are you going to put it on? Huh? On the I'm going to put it on the wedge oh. to make it slide in there a little bit easier. <laughs> use the back of the uh, Zvord to open up the paste wax. And we're just going to paste wax this, make it nice and slick. And then uh, probably going to paste wax that handle too, what do you think, Pop? It'll make it slick. Huh? It'll make it slick. Yeah, but that's why I got that swell, that palm right, swell. Whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do. Some old linseed oil. Let's, uh... Well, that paste wax is a finishing, isn't it? It's finishing wax, so it'll seal it up, right? Huh? I don't know. That's oh, a finishing wax. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the uh, on the part here that slides up into the head, so it'll be sealed. I don't have to worry about it rotting and getting funky. I'm not done with the handle yet. I'm gonna do uh, 600 grit. I'm probably gonna go all the way up to uh, 7,000 grit on this. Well, I didn't have to hammer that on there. Be a little bit more snug than that but the uh the wedge is gonna wedge it in there pretty good if i don't break it like that huh that sucks what i broke the wedge there's a wedge in the handle um let's go ahead and throw this down in there uh, da, 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 how am I gonna fix that? Is it up in there? Well, I mean most of it. Let's go ahead and hammer this one down in there too. Too big of a hammer. It's a problem I've wedged it in there now. It ain't gonna come out. I used the wrong hammer. I needed to use the small hammer. Uh, I've got some more of this here. We're going to cut another little wedge here. Throw in there. Oh, no, i got some more right here. I broke my wedge off. 
Where but it's all right. Huh? Where's that? Well, I had to stick another piece in oh, there. Yeah, but I mean, you're gonna cut part of that off, so it doesn't matter. Right, but it's not. Just wet, push it on down in there. That's what I'm trying to do. I need a something flathead screwdriver or something. Too wide. Too wide. You got a flathead handy? I'm afraid that'll cut it. Well, hold on. You need like a piece of blunt. You need some blunt force trauma. Here, that piece of something I should be lining up in there. Here, try this. Too wide? Maybe not. If I need your handle up on there, hit it on your handle. So, um, my wedge kind of broke on me, but now we can go over here to the bandsaw and I can cut it off and we can do the metal wedges. The old man's doing some scroll saw work over there. focus maybe there we go so now I just need my metal wedges which are right here and uh, I can finish finishing it so let me uh, let me get this here where y'all can see what's going on so what I'm gonna do here I'm going to put my handle in the vise, not the head, but the handle. I'm going to take my metal wedges and I'm going to put them in here at maybe like a 45 degree. Um, actually, I'm only going to put one in here because I don't think I need to, but I'm going to throw... I got a piece between my two wedges that I put in here, so I'm going to hammer this in at a 45 to kind of expand this out a little bit more. ball peen hammers I can hammer that down in there a little bit further. My head come out some. Alright so my head actually came out a little or my handle came out a little bit while I wedged that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna countersink that in there with something flathead screwdriver. Box over there. Don't be beating on that too hard. Just break that. Don't break it tonight. Which toolbox? One on the left, next to the last drawer. Next to the last drawer box? Huh? Huh? Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to countersink this wedge. Um, let me make sure I got this vise nice and tight. To countersink this wedge down in there a little bit further. Really wedge it in there. Oh yeah, it's not coming off there. So now let's look at the uh, the overall. So that is the uh, that's the hammer with the new handle on it. Not quite done finishing it yet, but uh, I'm pretty happy with that. That's uh, got a good feel to it to me for striking, and it's feels real good. I think 
For a first time, I don't think it's too bad. For my first attempt. So, we will, uh, we'll end this video here. I'm about to do another video on doing a knife handle, but, uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, the next video I'm going to do is going to be restoring this head. I was going to do it this video, but this video's turned out just too long. So the next video I'm going to do is going to be restoring this head. And, uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and sand this out some more later and, uh, finish it up. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's, uh, that's the original handle for the same size head. There's my handle. Uh, mine looks a little anemic beside that one, but, uh, but I think it's going to work for my use. So, thanks for watching.